It sounds crazy, but I was stuck Whoa. at the bottom of the sea for 36 hours. How did you get yourself in that mess? Why are you in a safe going under the sea with a shark? At, at the least bottom of the sea, shark. underwater, for 36 hours, 36 which is hours. more than a day. I think everybody knows that 36 hours is more than a day. But please continue. Let me also write that one down so I don't forget. You'll see that I'm not making it up when you hear my whole story. I'm actually really into hearing this. Like, how? It all started when Julie showed me a photo. What photo? Molly, check this out. What is so it? I took her phone. Ethan, a guy that Julie met on Instagram, was holding okay. the steering wheel of a boat and smiling. I never liked this guy, and this photo made me like him even less. Wait, 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 wait. What did this photo do to make you like him even less? This girl must really hate boats. Or steering wheels. Honestly, I can't blame her. They're just so wound. Where do they get off? It was so obvious that he was just a spoiled rich kid. I don't know if it's a reason to hate someone, but I'd like to hear her out. So, I said, and gave the phone back to her. I could tell that she wanted something from me. Oh, she loves He's inviting us to spend the weekend on his boat. I pretended not to understand. Us? How does he know me? He barely mm. even knows you. Mm, you just shady. message each other. She said, we talked on the phone for hours last night. Trust me, he's a great guy. Trust me. Even though we've never met, he's a great guy. He likes all my Instagram photos. Come on, let's go together. I immediately said, no way. What am I going to do on a boat with a total stranger for two days? Honestly, I'm gonna have to agree with this girl. There's something unsettling about spending two days with someone you've never met. Not to mention, you're literally trapped on a boat with no escape. Like, what could possibly go wrong? Like, let's start off on land at a restaurant, a movie theater, like normal people. So she said something she knew would work. What if he's a psycho? Are you going to leave me alone with a guy like that? Wow, manipulation 101 over here. This was the same sentence I used on her last month. I asked her to come with me when I was meeting a guy for the first time. So we went to the date together. Mm, like coming along on a date in a public place versus being trapped on a boat together? Slightly different. What do I know? She basically meant, now it's your turn. I had to say yes. She's like, hey, I was a good friend. You gotta be a good friend. On Saturday morning, we took a three-hour bus ride to the beach town where Ethan lived. Three-hour bus ride? Honestly, that's where I draw the line. They're literally delivering themselves to danger on a silver platter. Honestly, if you ask me, they're kind of begging to be trapped underwater for 36 hours, which is more than a day. <laughs> he picked us up and drove us to the boat. It wasn't too big, but it was so luxurious. There were two cabins below deck. Julie and I took over the big one. Ethan didn't seem like such a bad guy. I thought oh. maybe I was wrong about him. Still dangerous and I still know what's gonna happen. She kind of told us in the beginning. She's in a safe falling under the water. We were surrounded by water already on our way. This is terrible. Ethan was steering the boat. Please don't get me wrong, but don't captains drive boats like these? I have a license to drive it. Anyway, we're not going to drive all the time. Like, here's something I just can't wrap my head around. Like, why do they have to spend two days on a boat? You know, why not just like a couple hours instead? Again, begging to be trapped. We'll find a good spot and anchor there, he said. Julie and I sat down <sighs> to relax in the sun. In it wasn't hot enough to wear a bikini, but the sun was still pretty strong. Honestly, this Two or three hours fun. later, but let's not do this with strangers. We anchored next to an island. Nobody lived on that part of the island, so it was just nobody us, lived there. the sea, wow. and nature. So like, if something happens, nobody would see. <laughs> Ethan was a great host. Okay, he prepared fair. all now. the food by himself. For now. It felt like summer, even though it was the end of November. Julie didn't drink much, but Ethan like and fun. I got so happy we could barely speak. I need to go to bed. The boat needs me tomorrow, he <laughs> said, and wobbled his Scared. way to his cabin. Wait, 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 wait. Do you guys see that? Why is the boat shaking just from someone walking? Like, what kind of budget boat is this? Where'd they get it from? Like, AliExpress? After a while, we went back to our cabin as well. I was a little dizzy and got frustrated with myself for having getting so happy. I remember my head touching the pillow and I dozed off immediately. She's passed out. The sea was oh, so no. calm when we went to bed. I don't know when the weather worsened. I didn't expect and a this. The storm began, but when I woke up, the yacht was rocking a lot. Oh no! I looked for Julie, but she wasn't in her bed. Hmm. What was rocking and Julie's missing? How strange. What type of storm is this? <laughs> I heard a pounding noise from below as if something was hitting the boat. With each hit, the boat would rise up 
and then quickly fall down. Okay, guys, I've been on a plane before. It was like a small like propeller plane and I didn't have my seatbelt on and when it, those turbulence literally my head hit the ceiling and I was like this is why they tell you to wear seatbelts so sometimes you, you should follow the rules because they're there for a reason my point I though knew is it this wasn't was a good idea probably. to go upstairs in such weather but I had to find Julie oh, no. I tried to stand up but it was impossible I don't know the boats are rocking don't come and knock me <laughs> I'm joking she gotta find Julie just then the boat swung hard scary. I tried See, to hold on to something but I couldn't no I hit my back against Molly. the wall and screamed yeah. in pain are you okay? it hurt so much that I was oh, sure God. I had broken something. The pain stopped after a while. You gotta go, you gotta, gotta, gotta get to the top of the deck, find a life jacket. Life jacket is your number one priority over here. Nothing hurt, and I was relieved that nothing was broken. Oh, I suddenly life realized jacket. the real danger. What do you mean, what real danger? This is the real danger. What else danger is there? Unless it's Ethan. I was in a boat. Wait, did she just realize she's on a boat? This girl ain't too sharp. And boats tended to sink during storms. What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to stay down here or try to go upstairs? I was thinking Girl, I that the know. right thing to do was to go outside when the boat started to rock. Maybe you shouldn't have let this random person you don't know drive this boat. You don't know anything about him. But anyway, so I'm, I'm gonna stop complaining about that. It felt like the boat started moving. It must be so hard to get to the top. The you gotta like crawl. Are we going somewhere safe? <laughs> I was trying to calm myself down when I heard a really loud noise. I realized that the movement was just due to the boat it's getting drifting, worse and, worse and, and worse. we had crashed against the rocks surrounding the island. Oh man, this is like it Titanic. Was now clear what was like... about to happen. The boat was going to sink. I managed Not. to get up because the boat wasn't rocking as much. Okay, go get a lifeguard. I was life trying check, to get check, to the door check. when suddenly it split in two and water started pouring. In. Whoa, this just got real intense. Can you even get out it of there It was what with I water? had been afraid of. We were sinking. The water was pouring in so fast that I this couldn't move through it. What I would do is I would let the boat fill up a little bit and then swim out. I went to the bathroom and shut the door. Oh, uh, yes. Water and bathrooms repel each other. She should be safe in there. Good thinking. Phew. Sarcasm. I took the towels from the cabinet and stuffed them under the door. God, that's not gonna work. You think a boat underwater, like the towels are gonna absorb the water? Like, please. Water kept coming in. Until then, I had managed to stay calm, but now I had enough reasons to panic. Yeah, doesn't the water know the rules that it can't fill bathrooms? Logic. The boat I was in had hit a rock in a storm and was sinking quickly. And I was stuck inside a tiny bathroom. For the first time, I thought I might actually die. I started oh, yelling man. to get this thought out her. of my mind. Molly, use your brain. Come your on. Brain, Molly. You have to find a way to get out of here. You got this. You got this. You got this. The bathroom kept filling with water, which had by now reached my Ugh. knees. Honestly, like, I don't know much about boat safety, but I think that's pretty obvious that this is a stupid plan. Because as soon as, like, the water fills the room, you're not gonna be able to open the door because of the pressure. And then you're trapped in this tiny room with nowhere to go. It was impossible to get out of here. The water was going to fill up this tiny bathroom soon. Isn't the solution kind of obvious? You just flush the toilet. Duh. God, Molly, use your brain. I had resigned myself to my fate and was just waiting. The water was now up to my chest. <gasps> At this point, I noticed that the bathroom seemed to be filling up more slowly. Was it a good idea to try to open the door, or was I supposed to wait until help came? I think it's the water door, was still babe. rising, albeit slower. Would I be able to survive until Good someone girl. came to rescue me? In the sense there was they, no they guarantee that someone would come. Yeah, they never come that fast. I decided to do a small experiment. I took a deep breath and dived in. I turned the door handle and pushed, but the door wouldn't budge. I tried again, but no luck. Well, 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 well. Who could have seen that coming? I could have seen it coming. Genius. Don't worry, if you guys are in trouble, I got you. I could be like your big sister. Yeah. I came up when I was I out of breath. Yeah, a little bit of Basically, trouble. The, boat had sunk. the door wouldn't open because the cabin was probably full of water. I was still alive and I wasn't giving up. But what about I mean, Julie? Julie got you in this mess. I hope she comes and saves you. Because if she doesn't, you better haunt her. Now I started sobbing and couldn't stop. Meanwhile, the water had risen more. What's oh worse, man, I feel taking deep her. breaths while crying had used up a lot of oxygen, and I could feel there wasn't much of it left. I was in such bad shape that I couldn't tell how much time had passed. The water was now up to oh, my so chin. Scared. I was cold. I was hungry. I was thirsty. She about to drown and she's still hungry and sleepy? Like, I'm gonna die any second, but I could really go for a nap and a burger right about now. Delicious! I was tired and very sleepy. And honestly, girl, if you're tired, you know what's a lot like naps? Death. 
So, um, but you can't come back from that. So let's get you out of here. For a moment, I thought, let yourself go and let it all end. Darn. As a medical student, I was aware that it was hypothermia that made me think like this. Wait, 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 wait. She just tossed in and she's a medical student? What school did she go to? Because I don't feel like she's making the best decisions. I had been in cold water for a long time, so my body temperature had fallen and it was going to continue to fall. I was losing hope that help would- Okay, I thought these were like the people, like bodies, swimming or floating for a second and it's just jellyfish, so you know. <laughs> we weren't in open water, but who would look for us? Neither my parents nor Julie's knew that we were here. You didn't even tell your would parents? Did family do something? I didn't think so. Why not? I thought this was the end for me. Why wouldn't they do something? Those parents don't care? Like, just pretty sure you guys should hold someone. It got so high that I had to stand on my toes to avoid oh, drowning. I feel bad though, guys. Just I'll then, I heard a sound. It was like someone had hit something someone a few times. I held my breath. The sound stopped. Maybe there was no sound. Maybe I was hallucinating because I was about to pass out. No! I heard the sound again, and this time it was closer. Anyways, if I was hallucinating, I would have heard my mom's voice or something. Your mom's voice? Like, what type of logic is that? I don't think you get to choose your hallucinations. It's not like you're like, I see a green dragon floating around, but I know I'm not hallucinating because it should be a blue dragon. It's not how it works, guys. Why would I hear the sound of metal being hit? I dived into the water one more time. There was a soap dish made of stone. I Wait, grabbed why didn't you it and came back up. I started hitting the wall with it. Oh, she's making sounds. I thought she was gonna like use the soap dish to break the door or something. And I'm like, why is this your last minute resort? But I, I, I also stupid. The other sound stopped. All you could hear was me hitting the wall. I stopped after a while. Then the sound from the outside started again. I was communicating. communicating with someone. They knew I was here. It's exciting. They turned out to be two divers from the search and rescue team. First of all, she's lucky they never come this fast, but I'm happy for her. They were there to save me. Oh, that's After a while, amazing. they managed to get me out of the bathroom and then out of the boat. There were doctors on the search and rescue ship. They had a lot of experience with such Good. situations and were able to help me recover from hypothermia. I asked about Julie. I found out that both she and Ethan were okay. Oh, that's good. I'm happy they're okay. Apparently, Ethan had diabetes, but he was too drunk to take his insulin shot. <laughs> what was that noise? Diabetes patients also, lose consciousness in He's so situations. close. So close yet so far. Like, he's this close from grabbing it. Like, really? Ethan somehow got himself to our cabin door and knocked. Julie helped him right away. She oh. gave him his insulin shot, but he was still feeling very bad. Just then, oh, no. the storm broke out, so he had no choice but to go upstairs. Julie went... I'm Julie, go get Molly. You're just gonna leave her by herself? Okay, this is like the time you wake up your friend. Like, you're kind of being a sucky friend. Ethan managed to start the engine, but the waves were too big, and he couldn't prevent the boat from drifting. They fell into the water when the boat hit the rocks. Julie never left Ethan's side. Aw, isn't that so touching? Julie's so kind of considerate. You know what side she did leave though? Molly's. You know who didn't even want to be there in the first place? Molly. The next day, a group of hikers accidentally came across them. Like, I get it, she couldn't leave him, he's unconscious, but like, also, like, maybe you should help out Molly. Like, she's stuck in this sinking boat and all alone, and you dragged her here in the first place. After hearing this story, my first reaction was, they'll definitely get married after going through this together. Gotta say, Molly, weird first reaction. Not like, glad we're okay. Not like, hey, you guys should help me. They're gonna get married. After a horrific 36 hours, I managed to come back to life. Wait, wait, wait. So technically she wasn't trapped for 36 hours. False advertising, I want to speak to a manager. I think I did pretty well overall. Of course, I got very lucky, but deciding to go into the bathroom, managing to stay calm, fighting the hypothermia. Well, I don't think her decisions were the best. She's fine, and that's all that matters. Anyways, guys, click on this video right here. Right here, click, click, click to watch another video. I picked it for you, because I love you. Mwah! See you there.